Welcome to Amakusa Television here in Kumamoto, Japan. My name is Sean Michael Wilson and today I'm going to be taking you around some places connected to a very famous Japanese person, probably the most famous Japanese person of all time, Miyamoto Musashi. So, let's have a look. Today I want to tell you about a very famous Japanese person, probably the most famous Japanese person of all time, Miyamoto Musashi, who was a swordsman and also a poet and a painter. Well, he's most famous for being probably the best swordsman in Japanese history, maybe. So we're going to go around and look at specific areas in Kumamoto uh, are connected with Miyamoto Musashi. As to myself, I live uh, in Kumamoto, uh, right behind Kumamoto University, and I work as a manga writer, a comic book writer. I've been doing that for 11 years now, and my books are often about Japanese history. Uh, for example, I've written two books about Musashi himself, one about his life story, his autobiography from when he was born in 1584, right the way through until he died and was buried here, where I am speaking to you, in 1645. And I've written two books for that. One is his biography, another one is an English version of Gorino Sho, The Book of Five Rings. I've also written several other Japanese history books, such as uh, Chushingura, The 47 Ronin, and um, stories, uh, manga versions of stories by Lafcadio Hearn. So in the process of researching and writing these manga books, I have learned quite a lot about Japanese history, although I need to learn a lot more. Now we're in the place where Miyamoto Musashi lived when he was in Kumamoto. And he lived in a place called Chiba Jo, Chiba Castle. Or he lived in the corner of Chiba Jo, Chiba Castle. Now, as you can see, it's now a river. So it's a bit strange. Did he live in the middle of the river? Well, at that time, the Saboy River uh, went all the way over there, all the way to Kamatori and Namikizaka roads, and then came back. So at that time, the river was not here. So where Miyamoto Misashi lived is in this area where the river now is. And we have a marker here, and another one, a white one on the other side, which shows us roughly where his house was as part of Chiba Jo. And Chiba Jo is also completely gone. That castle is gone. The Kumamoto castle was built after Chiba castle. Now there's nothing left of Chiba castle apart from a well which Musashi used, which is up there a little bit on the hill. And he lived here from 1640 until his death in 1645. There was a priest, a Buddhist priest called Shunzan, who came down from the Taishoji temple, which is over the hill there. And they had a religious ceremony, a Buddhist religious ceremony, to respect and honor Musashi here. And you can see several stones that were put here in order to honor Musashi. This first one, we believe, is the original one. And probably 
the second one there was put there about a hundred years ago, we guess. And then there's a third modern one, which was put here about seven years ago. I discovered this by accident. After I had written the two Musashi books, I happened to be walking past here and I noticed that Musashi's kanji is on the stone marker there. But I discovered that too late to put it in the book. But this is, although a small site, a very important site marking Musashi's existence in Kumamoto. This is the Tai Shoji Temple, which I mentioned earlier on. And you can see it's a very beautiful place and we're lucky now because it's almost the Sakura cherry blossom time. And you can see it's a very, very beautiful um, entranceway here. And this was uh, connected to the Hosokawa Daimyo Lords and Tada Toshi Hosokawa and Miyamoto Musashi used to do the Sado tea ceremony together inside there, inside this beautiful park. Uh, now, we don't have permission to film in there today, <laughs> so we can show you the inside from my manga visions. This map shows you some of the places that we're looking at today. We are, we're here now in the Tatsuda uh, Koen, the Tatsuda National Park, and this is where the, um, the Taisho Temple is. And just slightly down next to Kumodai, Kumoto University, is the place where they stopped halfway that we showed you earlier. And then Kumamoto Castle is here, and Chiba Jo is about there. And there's also a couple of other important Musashi places here in Kumamoto. The place that he's buried is here in Musashi Zuka, slightly to the northeast. And there's also the Shimada Museum. Where is it? There. Shimada Museum is an important Miyamoto Musashi place, uh, slightly to the west center of Kumamoto. And then if you go over Mount Kimpo and down on the other side of Mount Kimpo, there is possibly the most important Musashi place, which is Regando Cave, which is here. And this is where Musashi wrote his most famous book, Gorino Sho, The Book of Five Rings. So here we are in Musashi Zuka, which is uh, where Musashi is buried. Musashi Zuka basically means Musashi's grave mound. So let's go in, it's a beautiful park. Now we're in Musashi Zuka, which is here translated uh, as Musashi Mound. Musashi's grave mound, it means. And um, you can see that they have here um, Musashi's name translated into the Romaji without the H, as is sometimes done, but with the H is probably more correct. Um, and this is where he was buried in summer 1645. And this is a very special place because it is near to the Otsu Road, which is the road that the Hosokawa Daimyo Lords used on the Sankin Kotai when they had to go up to Edo uh, for a certain amount of time, normally every two years it appears. And so because Musashi was in his last years, uh, not a retainer of the Hosokawa, but um, associated with the Hosokawa Daimyo Lords, he wanted to be buried near to this road. And apparently he's buried in an upright state so that he can continue to watch out for his Hosokawa lords as they continue up to Edo, which is of course now called Tokyo.
Here we have an explanation of Musashi's sword style, which he is famous for. In Japanese it's called Ninten Ichiru, which we can roughly translate in, into English as two heavens uh, and one style. And you can see that he used two swords. Obviously Musashi is world famous still as being a swordsman. And he had his first duel when he was only 13 years old. And he had his, uh, his, last, uh, his last fatal duel when he was 29 years old. And in that time, he took part, took part in 60 duels and never lost. And he's famous for that. Now, this is an amazing accomplishment. If you think of that time that he lived in Japan, there were so many famous swordsmen, so many talented samurai and so many different sword fighting styles. So to have fought 60 duels all over Japan and never lost is astonishing. Here we have a plaque that was put here in 1989 um, in connection to the city of San Diego. And San Diego and Kumamoto are sister cities. So this plaque has in Japanese and English a message from the then mayor of San Diego and um, he's mentioning in it his respect and thanks for Musashi both as a warrior and as an artist. It says here he was artistic and so we have the paintings because the thing about Musashi was that he was not just a warrior uh, in the latter half of his life, he moved away from duels and fighting and didn't take part in so many. He focused then on the tea ceremony and garden design, painting and calligraphy. And he became very accomplished as an artist too. So we can say that Miyamoto Musashi is a warrior poet. So here we have where Musashi is actually buried. He was buried here in May, or possibly June, 1645. So let's pay our respects to Musashi Miyamoto.